From Chris Pine showing off his brilliant acting skills to Harrison Ford giving the performance of a lifetime, let's take a look at the actors who've played Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan the best. Right off the bat, it's Chris Pine in Jack Ryan the Shadow Recruit. Now, in this one, the actor shows Ryan's nerdy side. Chris Pine's Ryan uncovers a Russian financial conspiracy designed to crash the US economy. Kira Knightley also stars alongside the actor as his wife and even gets in the thick of the action. Okay. I love you desperately. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Don't lose faith in me. I won't say that Pine's portrayal is brilliant, but it's not the worst either. The problem is that the actor fails to bring the charm of Clancy's character to the big screen, plus his rush transition from his desk job to field work just didn't work too well for fans. In his performance, Chris gives you just enough to make sure you don't stop watching the film, but really, it's not only Pine who is to blame. The film is just all over the place, and the action doesn't quite hit the mark. Not only that, but the plot is super weak and halfway through it, you feel that you might be watching a Bond-like movie. Even Pine's great portrayal of Ryan couldn't revive the flat movie or gather much hype from fans. So it's no wonder we didn't get a sequel to it. And I'm glad we won't be getting one. That being said, Chris wasn't the only actor whose performance was overshadowed by a weak plot. Our next actor had to face a similar fate, Ben Affleck in The Sum of All Fears. Right from the start, Ben was a controversial choice to play a younger, Jack Ryan. At the time, the actor was known for dating Jennifer Lopez and had starred in quite a few box office bombs, so nobody was excited to see his portrayal of Jack Ryan on the big screen. In the movie, Affleck takes on a neo-Nazi terrorist who wants to start a war between Russia and the United States, and just as the critics had predicted, Affleck's Ryan proved to be a failed mystery. The actor looked lost throughout the movie, but as the film reached its climax, he immediately jumped into hero mode. Just just in time to save the president and the world. Yeah, doesn't make sense, right? The fans thought the same thing. I mean, filmmakers need to look at the OG source. Ryan is a character who uses more of his brain than his muscles. So portraying him as a man who would protect America in a post 9-11 world was never going to work. But what really puts him ahead of Pine is the fact that Affleck was able to show Ryan's innocence and his awkwardness. Plus, the actor has definitely worked on his acting skills since then, and if he was to play the character today, he'd be able to do it a lot more justice. That being said, you know how they say the first portrayal is the best? Well, it definitely seems true in this case. I'm talking about Alec Baldwin playing Jack Ryan. Long before the critically acclaimed actor was impersonating Donald Trump on Saturday Night Live or getting caught up in prop-related controversies, he's always searching for a stronger, better word and he never finds it. <laughs> so whenever you do Trump, he'll sit there and go, these people, they're great people, they're fantastic people, and I just want to say working with them was... Alec was portraying Jack Ryan on the silver screen in the 1990s hit The Hunt for Red October. With perfectly fitted suits and a charisma like no other, Baldwin brought out a smooth style to the character. In fact, he's my favorite Jack Ryan, controversial opinion yes, but it was a very accurate portrayal. In the movie, Baldwin's Jack Ryan is working as a CIA analyst and a professor of naval history. Then he's asked to help determine the intentions of a rogue Soviet Union submarine, and after that, it's just a cat and mouse game between him and the clever sub-captain. The movie is filled with questions that only Jack Ryan knows how to answer. I mean, that's exactly why people fell in love with the character in the first place. But Baldwin's portrayal of Ryan isn't as heroic as it is in the other movies. And he acts more like a negotiator than an action hero. Honestly, Alec was the right choice to play the character back then. Since he had the looks of a leading man, he was able to play the character to perfection. The movie movie is quite tense and thrilling, and believe me when I say that it'll only get better every time you watch it. We definitely grabbed the boat, sir. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. We're not talking about some stray pilot with a MiG. We're talking about several billion dollars worth of Soviet state property. 
Now, even though many fans believe that Alec's portrayal was the finest adaptation of Clancy's creation, he has been given some tough competition by other actors. Just like the next one from The Office, it's John Krasinski. I'll be honest with you guys, as a die-hard fan of The Office, it felt surprising to watch John play such an intense character, but he has made it so believable. In the Prime Video series Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan, John does what no other actor has been able to do so far. Krasinski manages to play a modern-day Jack brilliantly. He is accessible but not too vulnerable, smart but not too overwhelmingly, but the most important of all tweaks is the fact that his Ryan is as honorable as ever. You get to witness his intellectual abilities along with his strong moral codes. Overall, John's version has a little bit of everything that Ryan fans have come to love. That's exactly why the series has gotten much praise from critics as well. It starts to make much more sense when you realize that Krasinski has more room to develop his character than his predecessors. The Office actor has been playing the analyst turned field agent on Prime since 2018. His ability to mix just the right amount of quick wit and believable action sequences has quickly made him a fan favorite. You guys should definitely binge watch the series after this, it'll be worth every second. That being said, none of these talented actors managed to portray Jack as ideally as the next one. Yep, I'm talking about the one and only Harrison Ford, whose portrayal was so great that he played Ryan not once, but twice in both Patriot Games and Clear and Present Danger. Ford brings with him a thrill and suspense like no other. There's no high-tech toys or any technical jargon. It's just Ford being a playful family man as he saves the world. But you know what sets him apart from all the others? He's way more confident confident than the other versions of the character. In every other adaptation, Jack's a rookie and has to convince other people to listen to him. But in this one, he's clearly a leader and someone people want to know. All in all, Ford set the standard that every other actor who plays Tom's character has to live up to. His two movies were also the most successful at the box office. So it's not like I could justify putting someone else over here. But in the end, one question remains. Why can't fans get enough of Jack? Jack Ryan adaptations. Well, in short, Jack Ryan represents the American dream in all its glory. It promises that an ordinary person can still be extraordinary. And isn't that what everyone wants? Clancy brilliantly tapped right into that dream and made it into a blockbuster. Added to the fact that he made his main character so lovable and relatable makes the spy thriller all the more irresistible. For almost 40 years, Ryan's determination in the face of danger has made him one of the most favorite fiction characters of all time. Jack Ryan has managed to join the genre icons like Jason Bourne and Ethan Hunt on the Mount Rushmore of American spy heroes. Well, there you have it, the best actor portrayals of Jack Ryan.